normalization is finished, you will be able to compare the images before normalization and the images after normalization and to see how well those images fit the canonical templates. Typically, before the normalization, they don't fit the canonical very well, just approximately. And after the normalization, the deformation were applied so that the correspondence between the canonical and the normalized image is maximum. Let's check it using check range button. Go to canonical and pick the canonical image. After go to structural and pick MS image, which is the bias corrected image, bias corrected structural image before the normalization. Click done. And uh, you see two images. Uh, to see the better the difference between the shapes of two brains, click reorient images at the bottom image and select current image. The orientation is approximately the same, but the structure is very different. The ventriculi do not correspond at all. But if we see the comparison of the canonical image and the structural image after the normalization it starts from W you will see that now the shapes of the brain of the brains, the canonical and the sample are very similar. Click reorient image, current image, and you see how well those two images correspond to each other. The insular cortex corresponds, the I position corresponds. Everything is very, very similar. That is why it took so long to estimate those parameters. It is really a complicated task to generate this non-linear uh, met met this matrix of non-linear deformations.